With the release of the Dark Below, you may have noticed that your weekly and nightfall strikes are now locked. To unlock them again, you must venture through the new story missions that came with the Dark Below, along with finishing some quests. So let's go through all of the missions and quests together. To start, you'll have to talk to Eris to pick up the first quest, which will send you to Earth to destroy the Fist of Crota. This is a pretty short mission with a more challenging boss than you may be used to. The debuff A Dark Burden prevents you from using your vertical movement skill at all. The Fist of Crota has also learned how to use the sword's super ability, meaning you'll need to be quick on your feet. After the death of Fist of Crota, head back to Eris to pick up your next quest, which sends you back to Earth for the Siege of the Warmind mission. In this next mission, you'll need to clear out all of the Hive in Rasputin's Warmind base, where the Hive are attempting to take control of Rasputin. The mechanic here is that the Watchers of Crota will drop Vestige on the ground, which are basically void zones that you need to stay out of. They don't spawn too frequently and really don't do that much damage while in them, but it's still a good idea to stay away from them. You'll have to fight waves of enemies, each more challenging than the previous, ending with the Might of Crota, an ogre who needs to be destroyed. After defending Rasputin, head back to Eris to pick up the next quest, which sends you deep into the Temple of Crota, deeper than you've ever been in previous missions, to destroy the Soul of Crota, which will summon Crota to Earth if not destroyed. The Vestige Zones are present here again as well. To destroy the crystal, venture all the way to the end where you'll see Watchers of Crota guarding a giant crystal. Once all of the Watchers are dead, the crystal comes alive and starts blasting you with damage. You need to destroy the crystal quickly before you are overrun by Hive. Upon killing the crystal, you'll need to once again head back to Eris for the next quests. You'll also be rewarded with Murmur, the fusion rifle that can deal either solar or arc damage via a switchable upgrade. The stats also vary on the weapon depending on whether you're using arc damage or solar damage. Both variations are very, very good. The next two quests you'll get are the Extermination and Urn of Sacrifice. Urn of Sacrifice will have to wait until Xur shows up, but the Extermination requires you to kill 25 knights and or wizards. The easiest place to do this is to go to the Rocket Yard on Earth, where there are four knights that spawn very frequently. One near the Servitor in the front of the area, one in the middle where the Hive fight the Fallen, and two in the back by the giant puddle and the bridge. Once you have killed 25 of them, head back to Eris for the final group of quests, where you must find and kill the Disciples of Crota. There are three events that need triggering. The first is in the area where you do the Dark Within story mission, the building with the satellite on top. Head into the first dark room with all the Hive Acolytes and go to the top right corner of the room to see a Thrall hiding. Kill it to trigger the event, where many Hive enemies will spawn, including the Hand of Crota, a sword-wielding knight. Kill the knight and then start moving through the complex and head to the Skywatch and beyond, to where you did the last Array story mission. The balcony overlooking the Array has a Hive with a jar sitting in front of it. Steal the treasure to trigger this event, where you will kill the Eyes of Crota, which are multiple Hive Acolytes. After those guys are dead, head to where the Devil's Lair Strike is, the first big room where the three waves of enemies spawn. The final event is in this room, after you go down the stairs. Start this event to spawn a lot of Hive enemies and the Heart of Crota, a wizard. Kill the wizard, and you'll complete your final quest. Head back to Eris, turn in your quests, and the Weekly and Nightfall will now be unlocked for you to play. So there you go, that is how you grab the Fusion Rifle Murmur, and how to unlock the Weekly and Nightfall as easily as possible. I'll have my thoughts on the expansion very, very soon in an upcoming video. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you next time.